So I just lost my job. My I just got. Off. Back in 2019, the US Bureau of Labor Statistics delivered what seemed like golden news for aspiring tech workers. Software developer jobs would surge by 22% by 2029, dramatically outpacing nearly every other profession. Yes, News & Rugger pulled us out with its annual ranking of best jobs, and for the first time in three years, a healthcare job does not top the list. Software developer came in at number one. A lot of them in the healthcare profession, but software developer, NAB number one. U.S. News & World Report crowned software developer the number one job in America. The narrative was compelling. High salaries, flexible work arrangements, and seemingly endless global demand. Yet here we stand in 2025, witnessing something nobody predicted the actual decline of developer positions across the United States. But you've doubled the amount of employees at Google the last, since 2010, 50,000 approximately now. Are we as an industry creating jobs or are we killing jobs faster than we are creating them? Mass layoffs, aggressive automation, and strategic outsourcing have fundamentally disrupted an industry once considered bulletproof. To understand today's seismic shift, we need to appreciate just how remarkable the software engineer's rise was. In the 1950s, according to Department of Labor records, fewer than 10,000 Americans possessed programming skills. In the 1980s, the personal computer revolution changed everything. That number exploded to approximately 200,000 programmers. By 2010, we had over 18 million developers worldwide, and the appetite for their skills seemed infinite. These weren't just jobs, they were the architects of our digital transformation. From the first internet applications to the mobile revolution that put computers in every pocket, software engineers built the foundation of modern life. Universities couldn't expand their computer science programs fast enough to meet demand. For nearly two decades, software engineering was a guaranteed gateway to middle-class prosperity and professional security. The early 2020s marked a critical inflection point. While the pandemic initially accelerated demand for digital solutions, it simultaneously fast-tracked something else, the automation of programming itself. It's the largest AI infrastructure project by far in history, and it's all taking place right here in America. Companies began making substantial investments in artificial intelligence systems capable of handling routine development tasks. The numbers tell a stark story. By 2021, GitHub Copilot, powered by models such as ChatGPT, was generating up to 40% of code in projects where developers adopted it. Google's 2023 disclosure was even more revealing. More than a quarter of all new code at the tech giant was AI-generated. What started as a helpful productivity tool had rapidly evolved into something approaching a digital colleague. Initially, these tools appeared to be force multipliers helping junior developers write cleaner code faster and debug more efficiently. Ultimately, to me, it is about the human capital and the human potential, and technology empowers humans to do great things. But executives quickly recognized the profound financial implications. If artificial intelligence could produce production-ready code, entire teams of entry-level engineers might become redundant. By 2025, what began as isolated cost-cutting measures became industry-wide restructuring. Microsoft, Meta, Alphabet, Salesforce, and Workday all announced substantial workforce reductions. Meta eliminated over 16,000 positions, explicitly citing its strategic pivot toward artificial intelligence. Salesforce reduced its engineering workforce by 15%, stating that AI tools enabled them to maintain productivity with significantly fewer staff members. Mark Benioff, CEO of Salesforce, spoke on this in a recent Bloomberg interview, stating, AI is currently doing 30 to 50% of the work at Salesforce. Industry analysts report that over 110,000 developers were laid off globally in just two years. The disruption extended far beyond Silicon Valley. A comprehensive 2024 study revealed that 45% of non-tech companies plan to replace portions of their development teams with AI automation within the next three to five years. Job security, once the cornerstone of a developer's career value proposition, had effectively evaporated. However, attributing this transformation solely to artificial intelligence oversimplifies a more complex economic reality. Even before AI entered the equation, outsourcing was already reshaping the software development landscape. 
companies discovered they could access highly skilled engineers in overseas markets for a fraction of domestic costs. Nations like India, Poland, and the Philippines emerged as global technology hubs, offering well-educated developers at significantly reduced rates. The mathematics were straightforward. While the median U.S. software engineer salary remains above $120,000 annually, according to Bureau of Labor Statistics data, comparable engineers in Bangalore or Manila might earn one-third of that amount. For cost-conscious executives, the decision seemed obvious. Artificial intelligence didn't create the outsourcing trend, but it supercharged its effectiveness. With automation handling basic coding tasks, the remaining human work increasingly gets distributed to global markets where labor costs are lower. American developers now face what industry experts call a double squeeze, AI automation eliminating entry-level positions while outsourcing captures much of the remaining work. This brings us to one of the most politically charged aspects of the current crisis, the H-1B visa program. Each year, the United States grants approximately 85,000 visas to highly skilled foreign workers, with a substantial portion flowing to technology roles. Proponents argue that H-1B visas address critical gaps in the American workforce, attracting top-tier talent from around the globe. Critics, however, contend that the program has been systematically exploited by companies seeking to reduce labor costs, effectively displacing domestic workers with cheaper foreign alternatives. A 2023 Economic Policy Institute analysis found that many firms utilize H-1B workers not to address genuine skill shortages, but to suppress wage costs. Significantly, the largest H-1B visa users are outsourcing firms, rather than direct U.S. technology companies. For American developers, this creates additional competitive pressure. Jobs aren't just being automated, the surviving positions are increasingly subject to global competition, often at reduced compensation levels. Combined with widespread layoffs, this dynamic has created an exceptionally challenging environment for recent graduates and mid-level developers, precisely the groups that once found unlimited opportunities. The artificial intelligence revolution in programming is undeniably transformative. Google's 2017 introduction of the Transformer architecture laid the groundwork for modern language models. By 2025, AI companies are adapting their large language models to excel at coding tasks in multiple languages. Thousands of software engineers now utilize these models through platforms such as GitHub Copilot and Cursor, as well as OpenAI's own cloud platform, Codex. These models allow the ability to generate complete applications, automate debugging, and identify security vulnerabilities from natural language prompts. According to McKinsey Research, up to 30% of software development tasks can now be fully automated. For companies, this represents massive operational savings. For workers, however, it signals the elimination of many traditional roles, particularly at the junior level where routine tasks predominate. The nuance lies in understanding how AI has fundamentally democratized software creation. Artificial intelligence platforms have enabled non-coding professionals to develop functional software solutions for their own businesses, or work as freelancers serving other companies, significantly reducing development costs. This has created a new breed of software engineers, dispersed across industries rather than concentrated in traditional tech companies. As Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella recently observed in a CNBC India interview, there is a need for more software developers all over the economy. He went on to explain that if there is one sector becoming more efficient, some of the labor force in that sector will disperse more broadly. We are witnessing this firsthand. As traditional tech roles contract, we see the emergence of new developers who create industry-specific software creators and may not hold computer science degrees, but can leverage AI tools to build meaningful applications. This dispersion means software engineering skills are becoming more accessible and widespread. Historical precedent suggests that automation rarely eliminates entire professions overnight. Instead, it transforms them. The 1980s introduction of compilers and integrated development environments made coding more accessible, but didn't eliminate the need for developers. Rather, these tools shifted what developers focused on. Today's transformation follows a similar pattern. While traditional roles disappear, new opportunities are emerging. Large tech companies are locked in an unprecedented talent war for AI specialists with Meta reportedly allocating $100 million in signing bonuses across multiple hires to poach OpenAI staff. 
meaning individual bonuses likely range from hundreds of thousands to several million dollars per top researcher. OpenAI pays software engineers a median compensation of $910,000 annually, while Meta offers machine learning engineers $224,532 per year, reflecting just how desperately these companies need AI talent. With the high signing bonuses, Meta alone successfully recruited over 50 engineers and researchers from rival companies, demonstrating that while, as a whole, traditional software engineering jobs are contracting, the demand for AI expertise has created a completely separate, hyper-competitive market, albeit far smaller in numbers. In addition, industry projections suggest that by 2035, developers with hybrid skill sets, part programmer, part AI collaborator, will command premium market positions. The transition, however, has been genuinely painful for many professionals. In the first months of 2025 alone, nearly 18,000 technology workers were directly displaced by automation. Recent graduates struggle to secure their first positions in an increasingly competitive market. Mid-level engineers face unprecedented competition from AI systems, overseas workers, and H-1B visa holders simultaneously. The widely promoted narrative that learning to code guaranteed financial prosperity has been thoroughly debunked. Many professionals feel as though the fundamental rules of their industry have changed overnight, leaving them scrambling to adapt to an entirely new competitive landscape. So are we witnessing the end of software engineers? Not exactly, but we are seeing the end of software engineering as we've known it. The era of massive development teams handling repetitive programming tasks is rapidly concluding. However, new opportunities are emerging for professionals willing to evolve with the industry. Developers who can integrate technical expertise with creativity, strategic thinking, and AI collaboration will continue to thrive. Fields like data privacy, cybersecurity, and emerging technologies will require human oversight for decades to come. The software engineer isn't facing extinction, but the profession has entered a fundamentally new era defined by global competition, relentless automation, and the constant need for professional reinvention. What was once America's most secure career path now stands at a critical crossroads. Artificial intelligence, global outsourcing, and immigration policies are reshaping the entire industry landscape. For developers, survival demands adaptation. For companies, efficiency requires transformation. The question is no longer whether AI or globalization will change software engineering, they already have. What matters now is whether today's engineers will adapt to tomorrow's challenges or find themselves replaced by them. Want more videos like this? Subscribe to MacHard for weekly AI updates and leave your thoughts in the comments below.